Hi guys, okay, let's talk about the AMD A10 6800K APU. It's not actually here, this is just the box. Now this is the perfect thing to start PC gaming with. However, there is one little trick to this, this thing. Because it's an APU, the CPU and the GPU are on the same chip, so they use they share the same memory. So your system memory, whatever it might be, it will share that. So that means, unlike with a normal graphics card, which has its own dedicated memory, the faster the memory, the better, because the system memory is normally about 1600 megahertz. 8 gigabytes, 1600 megahertz memory is usually absolutely perfect for a, a normal GPU and a CPU separately apart. But with one of these, because it shares the system memory, the faster your system memory is, the better this will be. And that's the first thing we're going to look at today, is the difference when overclocking the memory, not overclocking the memory, but I've done some quick tests from 1600 megahertz to 2133 megahertz memory, and the difference is reasonable. Reasonable. I've, done, I've tested games at 1080p, on medium settings so you could still go lower than I've done them on and you could get more playable frame rates to be honest because this on its own with your regular 1600 MHz system memory isn't really enough it's uh, especially if you're like a PC master race where you want 60 frames per second it's not going to happen with this you're going to be much closer to the 30 mark and you have to turn some settings down but we'll have a look at the benchmarks for that in a second. But with that, the obvious upgrade to this would be a 6670. Because as on the side of this somewhere, it says this can be cross-fired with one of these. So that means that this will work with this together. So you get your system memory with this and you get one gigabyte of GDDR5 with this as well. And this has a very dramatic improvement. So first of all, Let's take a look at the benchmarks for this with the memory at different speeds and then with this. Okay, so as you saw, with the 6670, there was a very, very large performance increase over the, just the APU on its own. However, and, and you might be thinking, hmm, well that's a good idea, maybe I will buy one of these and one of these. But stop, because that is not the way to go. That's absolutely not the way to go. I know it's very tempting when you see that and you think, oh, I'll just buy that, it's only, it's only about £55, I'll go and put that with it. it but honest, honestly, guys, that's not the best way. If that is your plan, if you don't, if you plan to just buy, buy one of these and use it for like three, four months or so, then fine, fine, do that. However, if you plan on buying one of these and then straight away upgrading to one of these, that's not the way to go. What you should then do instead is ditch the APU completely and you should then go for an AMD Athlon 2 X4 750K. Now this is a quad core, but it doesn't really it doesn't have that proper APU with it. So you need a proper graphics card to run with it. Now, I have the perfect graphics card to go with this. And that is this. Now this is a power color R7-260X, so this is the top range of the R7, the new R7 lineup. And this, as we shall see when I I show you the benchmarks with this and the discrete graphics card, and you'll see this makes a huge difference. Now, the pricing for it, you might think, mm, well, I haven't got any more money for that. But if you buy it, the APU with the discrete graphics card, it's around £159.38. I say around, obviously I've done the maths on that. Uh, this with the the Athlon 2x4 750k is 160 pounds and three pence. So what's doing quick maths? Uh, 65p more. 
for this. So let's take a look at the benchmarks for this against the discrete graphics card. Okay, so there we go. As you saw, this pretty much kills the discrete graphics card on its own. And so if you are buying, if you want to buy both of them together, I would just please don't buy the discrete graphics card with that. I know you can crossfire it and they make it sound really good. And it, it is as an upgrade after a, after a good few months, it is a good idea. Otherwise, don't do it. Don't do it. it you'd want a dedicated graphics card. It's always going to be best. I mean, this was really, really high compared to that on medium settings. This will play some games on ultra settings. Or I've done, this is going to be coming up in a video I'm doing comparing it with the R9 270, not the X, just the 270. And then there's a 15 pound difference between the two, but I'll go more into that in that video. Uh, and I can tell you that this definitely plays games on ultra. Maybe not perfectly. If, you're, if you want like 60 frames per second, and you're going to have to turn some settings down. But this, on Ultra, will play some games over 30 frames per second. So, at, well, I say at playable frame rates, but playable for some people. Other people, maybe not. But when, you, when you're on a budget, then you have to make some sacrifices in some areas. But yeah, this is lovely. It, now, some people might be saying, hmm, but you can get a 7850 for around £100. And yes, you're absolutely right. But two things. One, that's old technology. So, you know, the support for that. And then number two is that because they're not being made anymore, so they're going to run out. It's like the 7950s, which suddenly have out of nowhere become amazing for, for mining Litecoins. And suddenly they're up at like £220 or so. So, yeah, I wish I'd bought one of those when they were dirt cheap a few months ago. Another little thing on the side I should say about the processor, it also uses the socket FM2. So if you've already got the motherboard or something like that, or you've already like, yes, I want that motherboard, you can use exactly the same motherboard for it. They're both socket FM2s, so. And it won't. And if you are buying the Athlon 2, then that doesn't need the fast memory. So you can probably save a little bit of money on that as well. And really, if you're looking for a decent gaming experience on a budget, then really this is as low as I would go. Currently it costs, you can get an MSI version of this. So this is a power color one, but you can get an MSI version where it will be pretty much exactly the same for £103.97 currently right now at this very minute. My phone's going off. Okay, so one last thing in my last GPU video quite a while ago now, uh, I showed people this graphics card here and I asked people to guess what it was from the pictures that you can see now. Uh, unfortunately, everyone seemed to think it was a GTX 460 or something like that. But unfortunately, no, it is not. This is indeed an NVIDIA card, but it is a GTX 555 pulled from an Alienware Aurora for uh, last year sometime, I think, or something like that never to be used again. I don't know, in fact, I don't even really know what I'm going to do with this. I might just use it as a cup holder like Logan does. Though then that's copying, so maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just rot in a drawer somewhere or something like that. Okay, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out my video of this and the R9 270, which will be coming up very soon. Uh, Leave me any comments if you like, if you don't mind using Google Plus. And uh, I will see you guys next time.